see you guys to fly to a very fun little adventure. Look at how magical it is down here. Good morning from an Airstream trailer. Another trail. Hi friends, I just came outside to start the vlog and there's a ton of like parachuters or hang gliders. Sometimes they just free fall for a minute and then start. Let me see if the camera can pick it up. Can you see those orange dots? Oh, I don't know if it's focusing. There was like a dozen, but now there's just a few more making their way down. Oh my goodness. Anyways, hello. Sorry, I'm so distracted by that. That is so cool to watch. I am really excited for this vlog. I'm starting this vlog on a Sunday. I don't only vlog on Sundays, only because tomorrow was a really early morning because we're flying to somewhere fun. You can probably tell by the title of this vlog. We are going to San Francisco, which I've only been to once when I was maybe like 15 or 16. I don't remember it at all. But Jordy's playing a show at Stanford and his favorite spot ever is Mount Tam. And since this is halfway through his like two week stint of being gone and such an easy quick flight for me to jet up there, I had enough points to go for free that I'm meeting him up there. And we are going to have a San Francisco day, do the Stanford show, and then go stay in an Airstream trailer on Mount Tam and hike before flying that afternoon evening. So that's what this vlog includes. Hoping for some fun adventure. We'll see, we'll see where the adventure takes us. And today I just got home from church. I'm just kind of getting some things organized gonna pack, gonna clean the house for one of my friends to come stay here with Max, and um, gonna start the vlog, tell you guys hello. I also have a tag on my pants because I just got these in the mail. I've been looking for like not denim pants that I could wear to the beach and like actually be comfortable in, and I found these on clearance, and I was really nervous about them, I'll show you full body, but I just tried them on, and they're so comfy. That's exactly what I was looking for. Look at them. They're just super loose and like high-waisted. Um, like I said, they were on clearance, so I don't know if there's any left, but that's one thing I wanted to show you, and I have something else I want to show you as well. I have the best gift idea for y'all if you're starting to think about holiday shopping, Black Friday, all those things coming up from one of my favorite brands ever. I'm getting to work with Osea on today's video. Y'all know. Y'all know how in love I am with this brand and they have a couple of limited edition holiday sets that you can A, get a discount on them because they're essentially bundled and B, I have my own discount code you could stack on top of them. They're a cool company because they are female founded and family operated and all of their products are cruelty free, vegan, gluten free, which is something that I look for, um, but they're all seaweed based. And I don't know what it is about my skin that just loves, it like s drinks in all the benefits of their products. It makes my skin feel like really clean without feeling irritated or stripped or dry. My code gets you 10% off. It's Mikkel Holiday. You can use it for anything on the site, but you can also stack it on top of these, like I mentioned. So Mikkel Holiday, I'll have a link down in the description box that'll take you right to it. But first we have this Andaria Body Best Sellers. This is two things, two full size things. You have the Andaria Algae Body Oil and the Body Butter. The value of this is $108. But the price point of the bundle is 72, which if you do some quick math, that is 33% off. And then you can save the extra 10%. This is smoothing and it makes you look all like glowy, which is really nice. And then this Body Butter, is anti-aging and hydrating. And it's clinically proven to help smooth the look of your skin. And this one I'm extra excited about because it has six minis in it. So it's like a really easy way to try all the things and see which ones you love the most. Also for travel, I'm for sure gonna use this tomorrow because I'm carrying on a bag for the first time I always check, but I'm carrying on tomorrow. So I will be bringing the mini of my ocean cleanser because that's an essential, I use it twice a day. But the value of this is 110. You get it for 78, which is 29% off, and then you could stack my code for another 10% off. The Atmosphere Protection Cream, which is a very lightweight barrier moisturizer. Anti-aging body balm, I've used this for a while and I really like it. It's very firming, hydrating. The same body oil I just showed you. Salt of the Earth Body Scrub, which is a very gentle exfoliator. And then, 
This guy is awesome. The Hyaluronic C Serum. Those are the two bundles. Um, if you've been curious to try, I recommend getting this honestly for yourself, but also such a good gift for the people around you. Um, definitely a benefit in shopping early because you can get those discounts before all the holiday chaos. So just wanted to share that with you. Thanks to Osea for partnering with me on this video and for being my dream. Macau Holiday 10% off. Gonna have that link down below. Um, and I will, it's on my list today to pack my carry-on. I'm gonna bring this, this, I'm trying to go light. I'm only going for one night. I might bring these three in my carry-on for this trip as some essentials. Can't believe it's not even 5 p.m. yet and the sun's already gone. I love this time change. But I am going to pack get on my work and go to bed early and wake up very early and see you guys to fly to a very fun little adventure. Good night. Well, We've made it to San Francisco, um, not according to plan. My first flight was canceled, so then I had to book a different flight and then that one was delayed. So sadly, we're not gonna get a lot of time to explore the city today, which is okay because the majority of the purpose is hiking tomorrow and seeing like the nature and the beauty. But we had to fly into Oakland and then the show is at Stanford, which is south. So you don't really go through the city. So it doesn't really make sense to go try to see anything in the city if we only have an hour or two to kill. So we might get lunch nearby at a spot that one of our friends, local friends, said is the best. They did not gluten-free. It's um, kind of Thai fusion, I think. Let me pull up what it's called. Burma Superstar. There's three locations, and there's one right by the Oakland airport. And then we're going to see what we can see. Um, won't get to see the bridge, because that's not en route either. Although, the mountain that we'll be staying at tonight is north, so maybe on the way back to the airport tomorrow we can see more. Um, but Jordy went to get the rental car and has been killing time and apparently just picked us up coffee and is gonna drive back to the airport to get me. I was supposed to get here before him and I got here quite a bit after him. But I'm excited to be here because for a minute I really thought all the flights were getting canceled because fog just canceled, 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 canceled. So I was like, I might not, I might not get there in time to see the show and everything. So I might just have to stay back. So I'm so glad. Well, we've made it. Thank you for the coffee. And we are going to the closer. It's actually Burmese food. I earlier told the vlog I thought we were going to a Thai spot. And the area we're in is so cute. What is this little area of town called? I'll pull it back up. Alameda? Is that how you say that? Look at like the little, like look. Look at that mercantile and that ice cream shop. Wow. I was first a little bummed that we wouldn't get to go into the city, but um, I made friends with some locals and they were like, you don't want to go into downtown these days, you don't want to do it. So maybe it's a good thing that we get to explore these cute little pockets. We just finished eating lunch. We're at the shop next door. Um, the rainbow salad was by far the best thing we got, but Jordy found something for our powder bath downstairs. You know the peacock wallpaper bathroom? What if we get the sculpture? Also, Christmas threw up in here and it makes me really excited. Do you think we'll decorate for Christmas at all this year? If you want to, we can. We don't have to. You asked that question like you really want to decorate for Christmas. I do, I really yeah, do. Let's do it. Okay, let's do it. Wow. That's one big dude and one giant pumpkin. We found the weight. The weight is 1,271 pounds. 1,271 pounds. How do you do spice? I got lemon ginger cayenne shots. Mine's very full. Cool. It's just some turkeys going to class on this high school campus. Just a, just a whole class of turkeys. <laughs> just 
casually in the middle of a city. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow. Well, we've made it to Sanford. It's beautiful here. It gives like, like summer camp feel with all the trees and there's like bike paths and it's not what I was expecting at all. I always picture Ivy League schools as looking like Hogwarts and this one doesn't. This one looks like, um, what's the movie with Lindsay Lohan as a twin? Uh, not Freaky Friday. <laughs> what is it called? Camp. It's the most famous movie ever. I'll think of it in a second, but this is how college shows go. Normally you're in a random room as the green room, but um, musicians have a thing called a writer, which is all their favorite snacks. And sometimes the venue will get a couple of them. Looks like they got a lot of them. We got kombucha, cocoa watt, cookies, chips, guac, Red Bull, Smart Water, RX bars. Got a lot of things here. And y'all be surprised to know, here's a little insider secret to the music industry. College shows are by far the most lucrative type of show. I mean, at least at the level Jordy's at. He makes more from this than playing for any big artist, for definitely any headlining show, any of his own tours, anything like that. And it's kind of nice because it's just, you show up, all the kids are pumped to be here because they didn't pay for it. And it's kind of the perks of opening for someone because you're getting exposure to new people, but everybody's in a great mood because it's like a fun free thing for them to do. It's just the best. So we'll see, they're all getting all their gear. We'll see if we have any time. Maybe we could go explore. I do have some work to do, so I might crank some of that out and then feel it out. I will say, I was just telling the guys, they just left again to go sound check, but something about being on a college campus, I work so much more efficiently. There's no distractions and it feels great. I told them I only did a semester of college in person. The rest of college I did online. And so it feels like such a treat. And this is making me realize I should go to like libraries to work to just switch it up from time to time. I need to explore the Oceanside Public Library and see see what the feel is there, if that's a good spot, because I'm just, it's amazing. morning from an Airstream trailer. I did not feel good last night. Something about the lunch we had did, did not hit my stomach well. I don't know if it was like a gluten thing or something else, but I was like, Bleh, straight to bed. Um, so I didn't show you all this. And now it's a wreck because we're trying not to leave anything in the van just to be extra safe. Um, we've had several friends. We're now out of the city, so I think it's fine. But we've had several friends uh, have their music gear stolen so it's a mess in here but i'll quickly show you the, the little layout of this little airstream and then i'm gonna get ready jordy is out hunting for coffee which is very sweet um and then we're gonna drive up the mountain and explore but let me show you wow we absolutely trashed in here with all <laughs> want to buy any merch um but here's the little den they have a fireplace they have this whole couch they have a little dining area a tv a lava lamp, necessities only, and then a bright red Coca-Cola <laughs> kitchen. There's like things that are branded Coca-Cola and, and Mickey Mouse actually. Um, but I think that this little red fridge is so cute. And then you walk down this little hall and there's actually a bath with a huge shower. Isn't that cute? Like that's an impressive sized shower and um, covered in maps, <laughs> which is also cute. And then back here, let's see, is there a light back here? Um, I don't think there is. I think there's only lamps, but you can see it. There's just a bed, a little heater, some hangers for clothes, and this is what it looks like walking back this way. I have historically been the person that is hooked on videos of either tiny houses or school buses or RVs or actually funny enough vans before I met Jordy, because if y'all know, when I met Jordy, he was doing van life. He was living in a van. Um, but I used to be just like hooked on those videos. I could watch them for hours. I thought they were so cool how they would find all these little hidden pockets of storage and just the financial freedom of it all. And so I just was always really um, into them. And so whenever there's an opportunity to stay in an RV or a van or any sort of tiny house thing, I, I like kind of 
geek out staying in. I don't. I don't know if I could live in. I could live in this. I could live in this. I could not live in what Jordy lived in, but I could totally live in this with like a bathroom, and a little kitchenette, and a little couch. I think that that would be kind of a fun, a fun life. I'm gonna wake up. I'm gonna wake up. I'm gonna get dressed, and I'm gonna drink caffeine as soon as Jordy gets back. <laughs> Bye, Airstream. Bye, Airstream. Wow, look at that background. Caught in the ember, glow in the night, like we're a wildfire, like we're a wildfire, burning the color that comes from the sky. Check one, two, no mic. Hope it's okay. Um, we're driving past the spot. Which music video did you shoot here? Um, it's one called Loved Loving You. Loved Loving You, and um, it is so pretty. So I asked if we can get out and see it. Wow. Oh, I can't wait to see over this little bump. <laughs> Found that I don't know a thing, but I didn't want this. I didn't want it We're en route to Bolinas, which is apparently like a small little beach town that we're gonna hopefully find lunch in, but we found this like more foresty area with a trail that goes through it. So we're gonna hike down that for a bit and see where it takes us, because it's like what, like 9.30, 9.45? So, wild till lunch anyways. Let's see where it goes. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll follow you. <clears throat> oh wow, it's right here. It feels like twilight. <laughs> I hug the big pumpkin. This has been a mossy wonderland and we've hiked down for a while and we're gonna turn back to see what else we can find. But it's just everything. Even being in a forest like this is beneficial to your microbiome because you're exposing yourself to new bacteria which is therefore diversifying your microbiome. Literally even just by like walking through it. So I was like, we're doing good stuff for our health by being here. <laughs> Look at this. It's really pretty. Out of hiking and adventure later I have my mic back on and my tripod we've made it to this little town called Bolinas it is so cute it is like teeny tiny like maybe three restaurants um, a surf shop because it's right on the beach and it's right by all those hiking things and we're gonna go wave high to the beach and then walk around and find some lunch but it is just precious there's a health food cafe we might go there just any small cute town, I'm like, oh, Gilmore Girls, I'm living, especially when it feels like fall. Jordy said everything is from the 1900s and like still kind of just the same slapboard construction, just everything's painted white. Like look at that house over there. It's just cute. Okay, I'm gonna grab my jacket, go wave high to the beach. We're having a good time watching surf and one guy, you wanna, you wanna explain the crazy barrel? Oh yeah, it was just the sickest barrel I've ever seen in person, it was crazy. You just drop in and just smack the lip, whoop -a. Drop down, snap, ah! so This is like a community center with a natural foods market in the back. Um, the other restaurant, I think, just was it just pizza? I don't know. Uh, pizza. Oh, this place looks nice. Eleven salads, meatballs. They don't look open though. Yeah. I think this is gonna be our spot. We got some gluten-free crepes. Maybe we split a couple of those. That sounds really good. I never get them. I don't know the last time I had a crepe. This is the ham and cheese one though, so with a wooden knife, we're gonna give it a little taste test. Oh, look at that cheese pull. Wow, Thanks look at that this. cheese pull. Look at that. It tastes like childhood. We would do ham and cheese sandwiches all the time, like warmed. We're gonna go peek at this little natural health food store because this is my love language. And there's a sign at the front that says, how are you healing today? It's kind of cute. My dream is really to open up something like this one day. Wow. What a dream. 
word on the street as we're about to go. Are we driving over it? We're driving We're going to drive over the Golden Gate Bridge. Yeah, that's us walk. <laughs> I'm so excited. Get ready, guys. Well, I'm realizing I should probably end the vlog here because we'll just be at the very loud airport straight from this and like what a beautiful spot to end it. But thanks for coming along with me on a couple days of, we did, we did a lot. At first when my flight yeah. was canceled, I was like, this vlog is gonna be a flop. We're not gonna get to do anything, but we did a lot and it was really fun. And I wanted to say thanks again to Osea for partnering with me on this video. I used my little minis to wash my face last night and this morning and that was just really convenient for my carry on. But don't forget about the bundles if you want to save some money. And then my code, Macau Holiday, gets you another 10% off of anything. So I'm going to have all that down in the description. And we love you. Is there anything you want to say? You don't have to say anything. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I, You're I just need... here for the vibes. Yeah, I need to collect some lines. Yeah, we need to get you your own little, like... What should I say? What should be your saying? Yeah. Um... Oh, <laughs> What? He's <laughs> trying to do, like, the goofy laugh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs>